Hi everyone, my name is Felix and this is Briefly Everything, where we go through all the years of history in short videos. No, we won't be able to deliver the most nuanced depiction of the French Revolution, but yes, we will learn of the overall connections of history and all the necessary or sometimes just fun facts of it as well. So to do history some justice, we need to humbly start at the very beginning of time. So it all started 14 billion years ago with the infamous Big Bang. We're not sure what came before. The only perceivable explanation we can give is that time and space were created at that time. So you can't ask what was before because there was no before simply. However, from what we can gather, calling it an explosion is actually incorrect. It was more like all space stretching all at once, growing from a tiny egg in size to its current limitless void. And then we wait another half a billion years and our galaxy the Milky Way is formed. And quite predictably the Milky Way is called such because it looked just like a Milky Way at night to the Romans who called it Via Lactea. And now Milky Way is actually formed by billions of stars coming together just like a huge light show. Then it was quiet for another 9 billion years before the sun decides to join the party. It originated from a gigantic imploding gas cloud. The sun by the way is so large that it can fit 1 million Earths inside it. And then not so long after, just about 60 million years later, Mother Earth is formed and frequent bombardments of asteroids and comets supply the Earth with large oceans. So now we have a home, but no population. Four billion years ago we have our first life form on Earth in the shape of uh, single-celled organisms. They were mostly just drifting around aimlessly, not leading a very exciting life indeed. However, they make up for that lack of excitement by creating actual life. Now it took a bit longer to get some more advanced life and 600 million years ago we didn't get our first rocket scientist but we did have simple sea creatures that I guess you can call fish. Then we had some insects and even reptiles. Moving on to 300 million years ago, Columbus didn't have a job because all the continents were actually mashed together into what we call Pangaea, the supercontinent. It lasted for 175 million years before it began to tear itself apart over tens of millions of years. Its shattered remnants became the familiar modern continents we still have today. Along came the dinosaur 230 million years ago. They ruled the earth for 165 million years, which is 27 times longer than we humans have lived and just another humble reminder of our smudge on the lens, not so dominant existence in history. The T-Rex that lived towards the end of the dinosaur era actually existed closer to us than to his fellow Stegosaurus. And did you know that the word dinosaur actually comes from Greek and it means terrible lizard and the vast majority of them were herbivores or vegetarians. Around 65 million years ago it's believed a very large comet or asteroid caused a little bang. Not the big bang mind you, but big enough to wipe out most of the dinosaurs along with 75% of all life on earth. We're getting close to the humans entering the world stage now, but first here are some cool facts about animals that lived post the dinosaur era. Dying out around 23 million years ago we have the Paraceratherium, which is a hornless rhino and also the largest terrestrial mammal that has ever existed. Atop the food chain we had huge birds roaming the earth in this period and 15 million years ago we had the Kalenkin dying out. These birds were up to 3 meters tall or simply too large for their own wings so they couldn't actually fly. It was ferociously fast though instead and its skull larger than 1 meter so it would just peck its prey until it was dinner time. Only 2.6 million years ago the Megalodon from your worst nightmares went extinct. Its name meaning large teeth in Greek and it would grow to 18 meters. The Megalodon had been around for 400 million years and survived every mass extinction thrown at them until this point. To get to number one of my awesome list of awesome animals, we would like to go back to 12 million years ago when the Leviathan died out. This guy ate Megalodons. It was named after a biblical monster that God had to destroy it in order to keep it from reproducing. And that, my ladies and my gentlemen, is the story of 14 billion years in one five minute video, including my list of awesome animals as well. If you don't mind, in future videos, we'll cover shorter time periods because history just simply gets more and more intense. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you back very, very, very soon. Next video, we'll talk about humans. Thank <laughs> you.